Metadata means data that provides information about other data. To explain the meaning of metadata in document management, we will choose a file saved in OpenKM as example. Let's think that we are interested in the status of this file. We would like to know if it needs to be corrected, revised, etc. In OpenKM, we add the suitable metadata group, in this case, content, that establish the status of the file, revision needed. The metadata can be useful to find information. We continue with our example and then we will search all files saved in revision needed status. As we can see, thanks to the metadata, OpenKM has found a file, and we can check that the result is correct. The administration panel has a future to manage the metadata. In it, we can define all the metadata groups of the EDMS. We can see the definition of content metadata group used in the example. And we can define all the metadata groups. The metadata are built in XML language. The professional OpenKM users have access to the OpenKM Knowledge Center, repository of resources to customize, enlarge, and adapt OpenKM to the organizational requirements. In it, we have all the information that we need to manage the metadata, define it, and analyze its components. To show how we can work with metadata, we will define a metadata group to invoices. We will consider as important the following data. The company name, the date, the invoice ID, the total, and if it is paid or not. Regarding the company's name, the user will choose the name from a list. They only can assign one name to the invoice, A, B, or C. In the CAD Center, we have all the information that we need to define the metadata. We go to the Administration panel, we add the new metadata, and we save the changes. If we go to the desktop and we select an invoice, we can add the metadata group invoice that let us assign a company name. The next metadata is the date. The OpenKM user has to be able to assign the date to the invoice. We choose the input metadata date type. In the administration panel, in metadata, edit metadata, we add the metadata definition, we save the changes, go to the desktop. And this time, we have available to the date metadata. The next important data is the invoice ID. It is also an input field. This time, text stamp. We add it to the metadata group. If we come back to the desktop, We can check that in the invoice metadata group appears a new metadata field related to the invoice ID. 
other important data is a total. It will be an input metadata field as well. We add it to the definition of the invoice metadata group. If we go again to the next step, we can see how in the invoice metadata group appears the total metadata field ready to be used. And finally, we would like to know if the invoice has been paid or not. In this example, we will choose a checkbox field. We complete the metadata group. We access to the desktop and we add the invoice metadata group to the file. As user, we can fill the blanks. And even we can search the invoice thanks to whatever metadata field that belongs to the invoice metadata group. in order to find the proper result. For more information, don't hesitate to contact us via openkn.com, Facebook or Twitter.